Hey everyone, Tom Warren here, the human guinea pig from Classroom Medics. Uh, it's Sunday evening, uh, the wife is in the other room watching the Omnibus of EastEnders, so I thought I would come and check out this piece of kit that's been kicking around in my office for a while. It's a blood type testing kit, so I'm going to have a look at this piece of kit and try and find out what my blood type is. Now, finding out what your blood type is is really important because it impacts on what type of blood you can have and donate if you're in an accident or in hospital and need a blood transfusion. And it also impacts on uh, organ donors as well. So if you have to receive an organ from a donor or you're going to give an organ if you pass away, um, your blood type can have an impact on the success of that organ transplant. And what we're going to do, we're going to find out if I'm one of four blood types, type A, type B, type AB or type O. So let's have a look at the kit and see what blood type I am. So this is the kit, and yes, it is on a breadboard. Uh, so first piece of kit is the actual testing card, then the lancet, then the Elden sticks. These are going to put the blood onto the uh, testing card, some cotton wool, and an alcohol swab. So part one, we have a lancet, and it's going to do a little prick into my hand, like that. Let's see if I've got a sample. Yeah, got a tiny, tiny drop of blood on there. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the Elden sticks and we're going to get a drop of blood and mix it in to the test card. So let's see what happens now. So all we're doing is dropping the blood into the speck of water on there. We have to mix it about 10 seconds and then spread it out over the whole disc just like that. And you can see I've already done one and there's the other one like that. So here's my card, you can see the two on the left have got like speckled red dots, that means the blood's clotted on there a little bit, and that's called agglutination. And then the two on the right are just uh, red discs of blood, nothing's really happened there. So I don't know what this means yet because I've not looked at the results, so we've got to just wait for the, the uh, liquid to dry, and then we're going to have a look at the results chart to see what type of blood I am. So you can see from the results card on the right, it looks like I am blood type A positive. There you go, A positive. So let's find out what that actually means now in terms of blood typing and why I am A positive. So this is a quick explanation of the uh, red blood cell types that we've just been talking about. You've just seen me demo. So you can see on the screen there's a red ring, that's a red blood cell, and the yellow triangle is what's called an antigen. So this is, the yellow antigen on this is a type A antigen. An antigen is just a molecule that your body looks for to recognise what a cell is. So if you have a foreign antigen in your body, it knows it's foreign and it can activate the immune system to get rid of it. So this is a type A. This is a type B. So a type B blood type has a B antigen on it. A type AB blood type has both A and B antigens. And type O blood type has no antigens. So type A has an A antigen, type B a B antigen, AB has both antigens and type O has nothing. Now alongside that you've got antibodies. So type A blood has antibody B. So if you were to put blood type B in with type A, the antibody would recognise that and try and get rid of it. So type B blood has antibody A, type AB blood has no antibodies and type O blood has both A and B antibodies. Now this can get a bit confusing, so if you use these pictures as a guide, you'll get through this quite easily. So here's a quick picture of some type A blood with their type B antibodies floating around. And if we added in some type B blood, what happens is those antibodies attach onto those antigens and clot the blood together so we, the body can get rid of it and, and cause a reaction. Now, if you were to mix blood together like this, it'd be quite dangerous for a patient as their blood would start to clot and you'd start to collapse the cardiovascular system. So when it comes to donation, this picture here is the perfect way of remembering who can give blood to who. So type O at the top is called the universal donor. And remember, type O blood has no antigens on it, so it can actually give blood to type A, type B and type AB. Whereas type AB blood is a universal receiver and it can actually receive blood from all those other blood types. Now there's, one, there's one last factor here, which is 
the positive or negative part of the blood type. So remember I was type A positive. The positive part refers to another uh, kind of antigen on the surface called the RH, the rhesus antigen on the surface of the blood cell. So if it's present like this, you are RH positive. So I have got this antigen on my blood cells and there are no antibodies. Whereas if you're rhesus negative, you haven't got the antigen on the surface of a blood cell, but your body's got the capacity to actually generate the antibody. Okay, so negative, there's no antigen, there's, no, there's not any antibody in the blood at the time, but if you present it with a, a, an RH positive blood type, the body will start to produce the antibody. So how does this affect donation? Well, if you're RH positive, you can give your blood to other RH positive uh, blood types. So you can't, you can't give positive blood to RH negative people. But if you are RH negative, you can donate your blood to other people that are RH positive or negative. So if you look at it the other way around, if you're RH positive, you can actually receive blood from both negative and positive donors. So it's more beneficial to be RH positive as you can receive blood from both RH positive and negative types, whereas RH negative you can only get blood from RH negative donors. So with my blood type A positive, I can receive blood from O negative, O positive, A positive and A negative, but I, but I can only donate to a positive and type AB positive. And if you like this video why don't you check out classroommedics.co.uk where you can sign up for resources and download some worksheets for your classes and homework so you can have a go at trying to figure out what different blood types can donate to who. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter with at Classroom Medics and at the HGPig.